Can we get an introduction, please? Sure. Uh, I'm Daniel Baxter. Yeah, I'm Tina Alexander. We're How It Should Have Ended or Hizzy.com on YouTube. So. Thank you. Uh -huh. um, I guess I will. I missed the last question. So, so um, how does it feel to be admired by many for your unique perspectives on how everything should end it? I mean, all my friends love sharing it on the media sites and stuff. Oh, that's good. And um, geek, Seattle Geek is way up there. So, no offense to anyone else. <laughs> but uh, how does it feel just to be like that? is what people love to say, I guess, trending yeah, among the right. society. Do you want to I, I mean, I think we're overwhelmed by it. It, it started as a hobby, honestly. And, um, and so to, to have people actually, like, send us requests and stuff is kind of mind-blowing. But, um, yeah, it's really cool. We don't consider ourselves experts on movies. <laughs> we're, you know, we're, we're having fun. We see the movie review a lot. Um, but, you know, sometimes we actually like the movie that we're hearing. So it's, it's not just a... <laughs> you want to add to that? Oh, I was going to say, I, I agree. I'm very, very flattered. And, and, and amazed if, if we do one that people enjoy and share it it's kind of a relief like okay good yeah. but, um, it's not just me that thinks this or because uh, I feel like we're consider ourselves very average Joe kind of people we, we work out of my house in, in Texas and, and uh, try to give it the perspective of what daily viewer might feel reading a movie and uh, it's, it's been great to see it grow into a full-time job, it's like, yeah. I couldn't have asked for anything other than that. Thank you. My kids are massive, massive fans. <laughs> They're the ones awesome. who, like, showed me your stuff, I guess, a couple months ago. I'm from the Organization for Transformative Works, so we focus on fan creativity and legal issues. Have you all had any things that you've had to change or any, like, robots telling you you can't do X, Y, and Z on YouTube? No, um, I, I think... According to all the lawyers we've talked to, we fall comfortably into par parody law. Um, I mean, we can't put certain things in print, like t-shirts and things like that. We can't sell, obviously, um, trademarked images, um, whereas we can put them in a cartoon because it's, it's parody. Um, but uh, we've actually gotten great response from filmmakers, even when we're being mean. I mean, do you want to tell... <laughs> oh, stories, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One of the few times we've been, I've noticed somebody attached to the film retweeted, Damien Lindelof retweeted our Prometheus episode, and I we thought that was one that was one of our more harsher in pointing out things that, yeah, <laughs> and we kind of went after it, and he just said, this is awesome, there's the link. Yeah. <laughs> this is so great to just be like, yeah. somebody made this. Let's I already really it. liked him, but to, for him to have a good sense of humor about it was really cool. So. And I think John Favreau retweeted our Iron Man. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so that was neat too. <laughs> have you ever been like slightly afraid to, now that you ha guys have a, so much popularity, have you always been slightly afraid to like tear a new one into like a director's <laughs> a certain someone. movie? Yeah. yeah. I don't think I don't think we're that high up there. <laughs> Maybe we don't realize it. No, no. I think because we've gotten a positive response and um, it's all in fun, so we hope everybody kind of goes. <laughs> so, no, we really have. That's the main thing. That. I don't. I don't really want our channel to become a place where people think this is where they destroy. Yeah. Hollywood, because I think yeah. we're just really fans of film, so to make videos that make people laugh about their experience in the theater or the movie they would remember as a kid, Yeah. that's yeah. the center of it for me. I mean, in a way, you could also, like, say you're kind of doing a script doctor kind of thing with, yes. you know, yeah. that should have ended. Yeah. So, I mean, in a way, some people could just find that inspirational and be like, oh, let me look over what I'm writing right now. Yeah. <laughs> Do I have a plot hole in here somewhere? Yeah. And we're, I mean, ultimately, it's, it's, we're trying to be comedic. We're hoping we're making people laugh. So, it, you know, not, not just being scared at it, I guess. Yeah. So. You, I'm Tish Trotter with Geek Smash, and you guys refer to yourself as, like, the average joke. For those folks that don't have a YouTube channel but have creative ideas, what are your suggestions and recommendations for them to start up their own YouTube channel? Okay. 
I would say just, just get started. Like the, I, when I started, our channel didn't exist until 2007, right? We started in 2005, and I was making cartoons with next to no gear. I had, you know, a mouse and a crummy scanner, and, and slowly built. Now I still use one computer. <laughs> it's all still internal, but he has a tablet now. He used to sketch on a sketch pad all it and scan takes the is, images in. So <laughs> yeah. I was just gonna say, all it takes is ambition and the desire, because YouTube has created something that's so easy for people to now be involved, and and you can have your own channel, your own place mm -hmm. in, on the internet. And if you continue to feed it, you will start to see there are there will be people that. Yeah. There's a fan base for almost anything, so... And I would say don't give up. Like, you know, we've been on YouTube six years. We didn't start with the subscribers we have now. I mean, we've I, really, like, doubled or tripled in the last year. So it, it's grown rapidly recently, but there was a long time there where... I mean, I think for the first three or four years, we had 100,000 subscribers. I remember that being a huge deal when we crossed 100,000 subscribers. So we say, like, keep at it. Don't expect overnight success on YouTube. And, I mean, even if you get one viral video, it doesn't mean your channel's going to explode. You have to keep producing content. Keep putting up those cat videos. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And, and if you can stay focused on a theme, I think, you know, for us, it's movie parody. But, like, if you're all over the place on your channel, maybe it's harder for people to know they want to subscribe to you first specific thing, so, yeah, that's fine. That'd be my guess, yeah, <laughs> my guess. Would you ever branch out into things like cancel TV shows or, you know, commercials? Definitely. I don't know about commercials. Well, I mean, like commercials, like series of TV commercials. Oh, um, I don't know. We've never talked about commercials. We did Lost, and we did Game of Thrones season one. Um, so we would, and we've talked about Walking Dead. Tons. It depends on the show, I think. <laughs> yeah, it does. The bigger the series, the easier it is to, to, to approach. Lost was such a big deal. Right. The ending was so crucial. And, but when the show is still happening, it's really hard. Like our Game of Thrones episode, you've got people that are reading the books that already know where the books are going, and the people that are watching the show don't even know where the show is going because it's not even close to over. So it, it's hard to. Yeah. You just, I mean, you, you kind of make a throwaway episode at that point, which they only work for a temporary time. Yeah. But it it's doesn't mean that's really a bad a idea. challenge. Like, if, if you think about taking a, a two hour movie and creating a parody versus um, a show that had maybe only 12 episodes, that's still hours more for us to watch and pick apart. And so it's just way more challenging. Yeah. <laughs> so, to elaborate on her question, um, do you think that scoring four touchdowns in one football game is an act of heroism? Go Bundy. <laughs> 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 uh, did, did you get the reference? Was that no. it? Oh, Married, Married with children. children. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, guys. You have to switch you. Okay. Okay.